how to create a multi-page canva website step by step hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you guys step by step how you can get started with building your online presence using canva now you don't have to use any complicated tools to build a website plus you can build multiple different pages on canva as well so let's get started now I have logged on to my Canva account over here and once you log on, on the left you will have this option called websites. So if you just click on websites over here, you can scroll down and take a look at some of the popular templates. And then other than that, you also have the option to choose the type of website you want to build and you can find templates accordingly. Now we're going to start from scratch with a empty design. Now, once you open up an empty design, even then on the left, you can still search for the type of website you're looking to build. Let's say I want to build a portfolio so I can search for portfolio websites and it will show me different templates. Then you even have layouts as well as styles. So what I like to do is I like to go with a blank canvas and then with our blank canvas, we can use a layout and then customize the colorings accordingly. So. To get started, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build my home page or the first page of my website, which is obviously going to be a home page. So if we want to go on ahead and take the look of our website and elevate it, what we're going to do is from the left, we have quite an abundance of styles we can follow. I think I am going to go with this one over here. This is one of the most commonly used section styles. And although it looks pretty empty right now, this is going to be our first page for our Canva website. Now on the left, you're going to go into uploads and you can upload your own product images or images. And I have this image that I want to use. Now I won't be using it in the background. Instead, I'm going to be using the full version of this image. So this is the full version and I'm going to be using this and then I am going to be inserting the smaller cutout version that I have like so and then I can use that over here as a design element. I'm going to lock this one in place and then I'll move this one around here and we can customize this more but I think I want to go with a simpler appearance because it just looks a bit neater. Now, after that, we also have the options to rotate the image if we want. And you also have the options to alter or adjust the overall appearance of your website. But we're going to build our first page, which is welcome to elegance. And then below that, we're going to enter our text. We can also add our button and I'm just going to click on the button and then rename this into view more. Now below that, I'm going to actually build our second page. So you can just click on add page on the bottom to build your second page. I'm going to go ahead and go into design, go into layout, and I'm going to use this layout over here. I'm going to delete all of the text images from here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a simple image. So let's say I'm going to be using this image over here like this. And then you can go into elements and if you do this with the video this looks a whole lot better so i'll actually do this with a short video so i'll just search for fashion over here go into videos and then we have this one over here we can put this in now you can go into elements and then just search for letter frame like this and then go into frames over here and let's say I want to spell anything out. So I'll just spell rose. So I'll just write R O S E. Now I'm just going to rearrange all of the alphabets like so. Over here, we're just going to space them all equally. And I'll just select them together. And once we do that, what we're going to do, no, oh, it's R O S E, not R S E O. So yeah. I'm just rearranging them. And once you do that, you're going to take the original video. We're going to take our video and you're going to insert that. But before you do, you have to rescale it to the same size as the original canvas. So place it like this and do this over here like so. And you're going to do it for the second section. So insert that over here like this and then double click and then reset the sizing. So it fits the entire canvas over here. Click on done. 
and do this with the next alphabet like so and obviously you're going to spend a little bit more time than i am when you're aligning these elements because when you align these elements they look a whole lot better on your pages on your website and then we have our final element so spend a little bit more time than i am right now so you're alignments look really smooth i think i did a pretty okay job right now and then what you're going to do is you're going to go into the pages click on layers and click on show all layers then you have your background layer so click on the background layer and then you're going to go into your background layer click on edit video and you have your effect and then adjustment so just go into the adjustment and turn down the brightness for that like this as well as the highlights and then the shadows like this and now if you view this page you will see that it looks like a you know it's integrated and the video plays for all of them all together so it looks super nice and integrated then you can click on add page to build the next page on your canva website so let's say i want to build a page about my portfolio so i'm going to be using this type of layout and in the background i'm going to be using a simple image that we have so i'll be using this one over here and then we can add our info now to make this job a bit easier for you you can go into design and then click on styles and once you click on styles you have different color palettes as well as font combinations that you can use so you can insert a image color palette to all of your pages and it would be applied throughout and you can go on ahead and see all of the color combinations that have been proven to work and you can get those inserted into all of your pages now let's say i want to use this pink one and i'll just click on apply to all pages and it will apply this to all of our pages i really like the brown one so i'm going to be using that and in this way you can build a multi-page website now one thing to note is that when you're publishing this website to confirm the multi-page appearance what you're going to do is you're going to go into your top right and then click on publish website then you have the option to resize on mobile. We're going to keep that turned on. And then you have the navigation. So click on with navigation. And then you have the free domain available with Canva that you can use. Click on continue over here and then insert the free domain that you want to use. I will add elegance as the name. And then we have the page description, portfolio for style and stylist. And then I'll just click on publish over here. And now once we click on publish, we have a multi-page website on Canva. So in this way, you can get started with building your own multi-page website as well. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.